an American, where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died, who gave that right to me. And I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. again and um, first off I'd like to wish everybody that's in the United States a happy Independence Day tomorrow. I'd like to um, also thank all of our past, present, and future um, soldiers, sailors, Coast Guards, Marines, and Airmen. Um, is that everybody? Soldiers, sailors, Coast Guard, Marines, and Airmen. Yep, that's everybody. Um, I, I'd like to thank you for your service. Um, it means a lot to me, as I was an airman. Um, I don't really have a whole lot to talk about this week, um, but I'll do the best I can. <laughs> um, and I went kind of dramatic with my eyes uh, this week. I'm using white in the brows. I'm using silver for my lid. And then I used a dark blue for the outside of my crease line and the lighter blue for the inside of my crease line and then blended it all together. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you think. I'm kind of playing around with the palette that I have and experimenting and seeing what works and what doesn't. So if you like it, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Um, and, you know, the makeup matches my shirt. So that's worth bonus points, right? Anyway, um, I had a stressful week at work. There was a project that kicked off that um, was a lot more work than what we originally thought it was going to involve. Um, there was a lot of troubleshooting that had to happen, and there was, like, the first three days of my week was spent doing nothing but that project. Um, and on Monday, my coworker was out sick. Um, so, yeah, that kind of sucked. Um, because then I was having to handle the help desk all by myself. Um, but I made it through with the help of antidepressants and video games and good friends. I made it through the week, so that was good. Um, I had my therapy session this past Tuesday, and in speaking with my therapist, um, she's going to send me my hormone recommendation letter. Um, we had talked about it previously, and she, um, you know, was wanting me to find a prescribing doctor first. And I'd like to have it on hand just in case they, they want it, um, even though she feels like the, the hormone letter is kind of an outdated way of doing things. Um, you know, a lot of providers are, are starting to recognize that, hey, we're kind of in charge of our own care, and, you know, being transgender isn't a mental disorder. Um, you know, it's just that our body doesn't match our internalized gender, you know, um, if you're new to the whole transgender thing, gender is what's between your ears, it's not what your body is made up of. So anyway, my hormone letter is inbound, and I've got that appointment still in August um, with a general practitioner that might prescribe hormones, um, which leads me to my next point. I called the VA back um, on Friday afternoon. And I called too late. The nurse and my nurse practitioner were already gone. Um, but I left a message for them with a good time to call me back. So hopefully they can call me while I'm on lunch and I can figure out what they've found out about the VA and um, this new uh, directive that came down from the VA administration about transgender health care. So we'll see. we'll see what happens there. Um, last night, my daughter and I went mini-golfing. I got on um, Groupon and had purchased a, a Groupon for um, a local mini-golf place that I didn't even know existed here in town. Um, we went and we had a lot of fun. We spent about, mm, about an hour, hour and a half out on the course. and um, By the time we were done with all 18 holes, she was ready to go, even though we had unlimited golfing that we could have done. Um, but we had a lot of fun, and I think just by looking at the scores real quick, I won. Um, she was having a hard time actually sinking the ball. So we were stopping at five strokes, um, 
and then going on to the next hole. But it was still a lot of fun. There were some really cool um, there were some really cool holes there that they had done. Um, but anyway, that's really all I've got for this week. I hope you have a happy and safe Independence Day, and I will see you all next week.